All right, we're back in the uh, career build series this is part 15. So uh, last video, we uh, finished our tow mission and came back. We had supercharged our um, boat. So we're going to go in and we're going to actually um, make the supercharging even better. So let's go in here to the workbench. Um, I actually did this a little bit in a test save just a minute ago. But, um, you know, so I'll show you what it's going to look like. And then we'll actually go and we'll build it. So this is, it's pretty simple. Um, I did some testing. I wanted to do it. You know, so the video wasn't too long, um, you know, by myself. And that way, um, you know, I end up finding out I don't need a bypass valve. So that's pretty good. Um, we should just be able to run directly into an impeller. I also figured out the gear ratios. Um, so that's going to uh, help us out there. So let's go ahead and let's pick up the, uh, the boat 14 here. And let's uh, go ahead and we'll supercharge this with impellers. So if we look at our, how we had it last time, we had pumps. I'm going to go ahead and delete the pumps um, out like so. All right, we're going to uh, start deleting some of the stuff here, and then I'm going to move some stuff around. I want symmetry on. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to move my um, air manifolds, and the reason I'm moving these is I don't want to have to rehook them. They're not a big deal to rehook them if I deleted them, but. Um, yeah, it's a little bit easier. So I'm just going to put them here. I also wanted to, you know, uh, see if I need a bypass valves and stuff like that. I ended up not needing a bypass valve. So, um, you know, I figured I'd do that offline and then, um, you know, kind of figure the system out how I wanted it. All right. So these need to be merged. So let's merge these. All right. So we moved our um, air manifolds. All right, so we want to delete um, right here. So this is going from our gearbox into um, our props. So we're going to delete there. We're going to put a T piece. Okay, so that's going to allow us to hook our impeller. So let's do um, IMP for impeller. So here's impeller pump. And um, you want to make sure the yellow is down. So I just knew to rotate it off the bat. But um, you want to make sure the yellow is down. The yellow goes to yellow of the pipe. That's fluid in, that's fluid out. So fluid out, we want to go to our air manifold, like so. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to bring the a fluid in, which is our air, um, to the top of the impeller. That's going to go from our stacks. All right, so with, with this system, I was able to get a top speed of 31. Um, but I actually down geared it a hair just um, that gave us uh, 30 knots and the reason I did that was we we're doing 600 rpm at um, 31 knots we were doing 500 rpm at um, at uh, 30 knots so we were gaining a hundred we were losing 100 rpm therefore burning less fuel making less heat being more fuel efficient and we only lost a knot so I found that was better. Um, we'll go ahead here and we'll put our gearboxes to five twos. Actually, with three ones. We want three ones. So let's go all the way to three one on our gearboxes here. All right, so that pretty much sets that up. Um, that's all we really needed. So what's going to happen here is uh, when we clutch in, it's going to multiply our engine RPS by three, and it's going to turn the impeller. That's going to draw in a lot of air. It's going to blow it out into our air manifold. The stoichiometric equation is automatically going to allow us to add even more fuel. And so now we're going to be able to create more horsepower out of these uh, same engines. So let's go ahead and spawn it, and we'll give it a run. OK. And let's give it a run here. So you hear it does a little stally when I start. Okay, what is up with that? Okay, so something's up. Okay, let me see. What is going on here? So those are connected. Electricity should be all set. Um, let me see. What did I do? Let me look, make sure I merged everything. I did. I merged everything. Oh, right here. Backwards pipe. This side was correct. This side was backwards. That was before I turned on symmetry. That would do it. All right, let's spawn it. All right, let's test it now. All right, let's see what's we should be running now. So you see how they're they're clicking down there. So I might have to increase the um, the p value and the 
pit to make that stop, so we'll do that as well. Alright, so as you can see we have 30 knots, we're at uh, 497 RPM. To put that in perspective, before we did all this supercharging, we were running I think like 660, six, almost 700 RPM, and we're getting a slower speed. So we've not only increased our speed, but we've increased our fuel efficiency by quite a bit. So uh, that's good to do. So let's change that, that p-value on the pit, let's bring that up and try to get rid of that clicking noise. We also should paint this block. Uh, we're going to paint our thrusts and we'll make these bar graphs work. So we have a visual representation of um, our throttles. But uh, that has our boat moving, going pretty well here. So. so we've added speed, we've added efficiency, so that should help with everything. So as you can see, it's doing that stall business again. You know, look at the RPM. See how they keep dropping? At 150, they're going to automatically um, reset. So we're actually going to... Um, let's do this. Let's go into our uh, microcontroller. Okay. Let's look here. Um, where are... We've got to find our pits first. Okay, here's our pits. See this constant number? We changed that to 0.18. Let's go from constant number... And uh, do we have space? I have one space. That's fine. So let's add a node, a logic node here. All right. Let's put in a number input of, and this will be our p value. So for our PID. Okay, then let's uh, find that where p value is. They often hide when they sp when you spawn it in where they are. So I gotta find that p value. Every microcontroller is different too. You don't know where it is, so um, it's always a hunt to try to find it. I wish it would put it more where I can find it. Okay, where is it? I have no clue where it is. So we'll look at there. It is. Nope, it's not it. Oh, this is fun looking for it. Okay. Wow, this is annoying trying to find this thing. All right, so we're looking for a uh, should be a green value here. Yeah, there it is, right here. Okay, so that so we know this is where it ends up when we uh, need it. So good to know. Okay, so see this 0.18 number here. What we're going to do is we're going to switch that out our proportional gain with our p value, and then let's go to um, where is the other one here. That's our other p-value for our two engines. Okay, so when we do this, what we can do is we can use a keypad. So let's buy a keypad. So we'll take a keypad here. And I'm just going to stick it on the dash. Um, we'll just stick it right here for now. Um, all right, we need to connect the electricity, and then we need to connect this, uh, this keypad here to the p-value. All right, so now what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to change the p-value of our PID while we're running. And so we can do all our tuning right now. So right now it's going to start at 0. So let's go to point 0.18 where we had it. Enter that in. Let's start the engine. All right, so now you see how it's, it's dropping? It won't stay above 150. So let's start increasing this point 0.2. All right, so if the p is um, the p value is too low, it will never reach our target. And as you can see, um, there we go. That's all it took. As you can see, now it's stable. It's not going down. That gets rid of that um, annoying stalling noise. All right. And we didn't we didn't raise it. We raised it by 0 0.02. All right. So there we go. All right. So that fixed that noise. All right, so now we can uh, get rid of that. So now we know what the value is, okay? So let's get rid of the keypad. Let's go in here. So we, it was 0 0.2 is the number I put in there. So where I had P value, which is right here, I'm going to change that out. So I'm, instead of constant numbers, I was using constant numbers. 
All right, so instead of a constant number, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a, um, let me see, I'm going to do property, and I want to do a property number. So let's find property number. Okay, so what a property number allows us to do is um, we'll do, we'll just do two of them just because that way our lines aren't all over the place. But So take this property number here. This will be port p uh, p value. Okay. And so we'll take this and we'll put it at the proportional gain. And then uh, we will set that to 0.2, which is where we had uh, just tested it. All right, now we'll go down here to the other one and we'll do, uh, we'll paste it and we'll change this to star for starboard p value. Okay, we'll plug that in. That's going to be 0.2. Now, what the benefit of this is, and then we can delete out um, our last node, which was the p value. Okay, and so I'll show you the benefit of this. So now if you look in the left here, right, when we when we have our uh, microcontroller selected, look down here, it says port p value, starboard p value. So instead of us having to go in there and find them, I could change them right here. I could make it back to 0.18 if I wanted. All right, so we can change it right here. We don't have to go into the microcontrollers. That adds some convenience for us. Okay, so next thing we want to do, let's work on the bar graphs. So I want these to represent um, my throttles, okay? So what I want to do is I want to color them first. So this is what was broken before. The devs had, uh, did an update where it broke the color. So let me do a couple colors here. Winch out is going to be uh, green. Wrong one. I want um, additive green. And uh, we'll just make, I think we make these two yellow. They don't need to be greens. Um, okay, so for here, I'm going to make reverse my bottom two bars. So when I'm in reverse, it will be these bottom two bars. Then I'm going to have red for idle. Okay. And then what I do is I like to step up my green. So I go this dark green. And then I'll do um, that intermediate green. And then I'll do light green. So as you can see, it's going to be, um, so this is kind of just a visual representation of where our thrust is. All right. And so we have, uh, I believe that is once that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight uh, sections. So let's go in the microcontroller and make this work. So let's look at our numbers here. So we have bar segment up on off as one. Okay. Two is going to be, and so that needs to be one through eight need to be utilized for that bar segment. That's why this starts at one, this starts at nine. So one through eight are for this. This is our starboard throttle. Um, this should be starboard, two should be starboard thrust. Okay, uh, it's up, it's on off, and it starts at nine. That should be eight segments, and then that's why this starts eight segments later. So that's one through eight, and then nine. Okay, so let's go into our uh, microcontroller here. All right, and so what we want to do is let's look at um, let's look at our thrust here. So or let's look at our RPS. So as you can see here, we're going to base it off this up down counter. All right. So um, what we have here is we have negative eight um, and we have uh, 15 as our maximum uh, RPS. So what we're going to do there is we're going to um, index those. So what we'll do is we'll get some threshold gates. All right. And we'll start um, making these. So they're going to be eight of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so then we're going to start, um, you know, filling them out. So these two are reverse. All right, so reverse is going to be, um, let's do 0 0.01 or negative 0.01 to um, four. Okay, because remember, this goes up to eight RPS. And that would be 4.01 to, um, eight and these will be negative as well all right so when when that so when our uh, when our up down counter shows those it will show those bars next one this is going to be idle that's going to be zero okay and then so from there we have one two three four five so we that's actually perfect we have five um, and we have 15 to go from there so this one's going to be we'll do 0.01 0.01 um, and that's going to be 215. All right, next one is going to be um, 
uh, what do we want? 5.01 to 15. We want this one to be, um, what is it? Let me make sure these are right. So that would be 1 to 5. That will be 5 to 10. Nope, that's not right. Let me see. <laughs> okay, that's zero. One five. Oh, okay, so I'm sorry, they should be threes. Okay, I uh, miscounted. So that's 0.01 to 15. That's fine. That should be three. Um, 0.01 to 15. This should be 6.01 to 15. This should be 9.01 to 15. Okay. Um, it's going to screw something up here. Yeah, cause that would be... Okay, that, I'm, I'm just having a terrible time counting today. 12.01 to 15. All right, so what... So now let me explain what this does. So when we put the, so when the throttle is at idle at zero, it's going to read that one red bar on the bar graph. When we put in a little bit of throttle, if the throttle is from 0 0.01 to uh, 3.01, it's going to read a green bar. As soon as it gets over 3.01, it's going to read two green bars. As soon as it gets over 6.01, it's going to read, uh, what's that, one, three green bars. When it reads over 9.01, it's going to be four green bars. And when it reads over 12.01, it's going to be all uh, five green bars. As we reduce it, it will reduce. So it's going to go up and down. Then when we go in reverse, if it's between negative uh, 0.01 and negative 4, it's going to read one bar down. As soon as it gets over negative uh, 4, it's going to read two bars. So it's going to show us going in reverse. So those are good. Let's uh, control C and V those. And we'll double them because we're going to be making two uh, bar graphs. All right, and then this over here, this is throttle read. I saved this for, um, you know, when the devs fix that. So this over here is a uh, composite write. Uh, start channel is going to be 1. It's going to read 16. Okay, so that's what we want. So we're going to take the first section here. All right. Actually, we don't want this to be reading numbers. We want this to be reading on off. So we want uh, right on off. Okay, that's better. So we want to start at 1. We want to do 16. Okay, we'll go like that. And then these are going to go like this. All right. I might have to flip those. We will see. Actually, uh, nope, this is right. This is working right, I think. So that should be 8. That's 8. Okay, good. And then this one here is going to be the next 8. All right, so that's port. This is starboard. All right. Let me make sure these are right. Yeah, 9. And then I may have to flip the bar graphs. That's something we can do in the panel. We'll see. Okay, so that's done. All right, so that's going to be our... our reads for this um, and it's going to give us that visual representation of the bar graph. All right, now I'm going to just take a couple pluses and I'm going to connect all these nodes and I'm just going to use the pluses because that way instead of having to drag over 16 lines, I can drag over one line to make these to hook these up. Okay, good. Uh, one more. Okay, good. So that just gives me a little bit of space. Okay, so now I want to go down here, and uh, have I? I don't think I've connected up. My, oh, have I connected? Okay, so see this numerical switch box. Um, this numerical switch box is. This numerical switch box here is what gives us the. Um, I don't know what this adds to it. Okay. This numerical switch box is giving us our set point, which is going to be, um, okay, so whatever is going into the set point where we want our PID, that's what I want. So I want set point. This is our starboard. Yep. Okay, so I want this right here. I want my set point. That's going to go to this add block there for the PID. 
All right, so now I'm going to find my set point for the um, pit up here, which is here, this numerical switch box here. And I can take it off of, now where is it? Okay, so I can take this um, off of this numerical switch box here, and I can go and I can drag this over here to this add here, and that should work. All right, so now I need to find panel out. And see where that is. Alright, All right, so we need to find where our panel goes out and reads to the. Um... Alright, so right here, see where it says panel? Okay, so see how we have a composite signal there? So what we can do is we can. Let's do this instead. So let's take this. Let's drag it down here, okay, where it says panel here. I'm going to take this composite. I'm going to connect it here. That's just going to pass through like that. And I'm going to take the panel here, and I'm going to connect it over here. Okay. All right, so now that's connected. Let's, uh, let's see if this is all set. Okay, so I cleaned that up a little bit. So this should hopefully read our uh, throttles to us in a visual representation on those uh, bar segments. All right, let's spawn it in. All right, so hopefully this should read us our um, our throttles, and I might have to flip them. We'll see. All right, so we have something wrong. They're not reading. Okay, let's look. Make sure they're backlit. Okay, backlight is there. Let's select the panel. All right, bar segment up. Display mode on off. On off. Okay, on off is correct. Bar segment on off. Let's switch the starboard side to um, down. And let's see if that um, flipping it does anything. I doubt it. Um, I may have screwed something up and just connecting it. So, so these gauges are reading. All the gauges are reading. So that's passing through fine. All right. So something screwed up there. Let's look in and find it. All righty. So it's reading the thresholds. This is coming across fine. All right, so we start channel is one. So we go through eight, that goes to panel. I bet it's going to the wrong panel. Um, I bet that's what I did. I bet that's going to the wrong panel. Let me uh, look really quick. So I need to see where this is supposed to be coming in. Let me look, logic. Pause it. Okay, so where does this come in? This comes in from panel two. Okay, so that should have been panel two. So that that's an easy fix. Um, it should be an easy fix. We'll see. Okay. So I picked the wrong panel. So this is panel. Panel should go back here where it belongs. This should I'll disconnect this here. Okay, panel two we need to find. So we found the wrong panel. All right, so here's panel two. So we're going to do the same thing. Um, can I move this whole section? Yeah, so this whole section can move. All right, so this whole section here is going to move like this. And then what I'm going to do is um, this isn't connected to anything, so I'll go like that. So that just allows me to pass it through. And then I can go here, and hopefully this should work now. And then I want to fix, remember I flipped this one upside down, so let me flip it back right side up. And let's spawn it and see if this works now. Hopefully this works. I just picked the wrong panel. So, All right, so um, they should be reading red, so they might be flipped upside down. Yep, so they're flipped upside down is fine. I'll just have to recolor them. Okay. So I'm going to just flip these. 
So where it says up, we're going to make them down. So up to down, and then we're going to have to repaint them. So as you can see, they, they're inverted now, so we just have to repaint them. So that's easy. Um, it's not a big deal at all. Okay, and then, then we want to go reds here, and then we want to go yellows for, um, we'll do orange, and then yellow for reverse. Okay, so let's try this now. So hopefully this should be all set up. All right, so no, but it's not looking right. Um, I don't know, I'll look at it in a second. All right, so they're going the right direction. My, uh, my idol, oh, I know why, the clamp. I know what's up. I know why that's not reading right. That's fine. Okay, so uh, what I did here was um, I put it so that when it's idle, it would read zero. That's not going to happen um, because it's not zero. It's reading the thrust, which if we look over here at the um, uh, reset value zero, if we look at our clamp, So our clamp here, as you can see, our minimum is three. So three is our idle. Um, if we look at our, um, where the heck are we here? Let's look at our clutch here. So if we look at our clutch, our clutch isn't going to start going till four, okay, um, or negative four. So what we want to do here is where it says zero here, the idle. Our idle is from uh, is from uh, four to, I'm sorry, uh, let's see, is negative four to four. So we, I need to re-index these, which is a, kind of a pain, but I'll do it once and then, uh, I don't want to recopy everything. I'll just redo them all, both. Okay. So we'll do this uh, negative four to four because that's actually what our idle is. That's before the clutch starts. Okay. And then I have to re-index these, which is kind of a pain, but that's going to be so, um, you know, 15 uh, minus 4 is 11, so we need 11 divided by 5. So, um, you know, the low value here is going to be uh, 4.01. Okay, and let's see, what is 11 divided by 5 is is not the, the most fun number to work with. But let me look. All right, so we'll do 11 divided by 5 is going to be 2.2 .2 per. So uh, this one's going to be uh, 4.01 to 15. Then we're going to add 2.2. .2. So, um, you know, it's going to be 6.21, 6.21. That's going to be two more. That's going to be 8.21, uh, 8.41 rather. 8.41, this is going to be 10.61, that's going to be 12, what is that, yep, 10, 11, 12.81. Okay, so that fixes that. Um, then for negatives, um, we go to 8, so it's going to be negative 4, um, so we have, uh, what's that? That's going to be... Um, Four divided by two, that's easy. So that's going to be, uh, you know, 4 uh, negative 4.01 to 8. Okay, and then this is going to be uh, negative 8, rather. Okay, and then this one's going to be um, just two more than that. So that's going to be negative 6.01 to negative 8. All right, so that fixes that. Um, Actually, I don't want to, I'm not going to spend the time redoing all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these. I'm going to copy these. And that way, as much as it's a pain to move them, it's less of a pain than uh, having to redo all of them. So let's go like this. All right, so we're almost done here. I know this is probably thrilling to watch, but... Uh, 
you know, this is these are some of the problems you'll have with bar graphs if you index them wrong or you forget why you have something set the way you have. So this should work better now. Let's um, go ahead and update, spawn it. So these should hopefully uh, give us red bars when we get in there for idle. They do. All right, we should be able to start up. And they won't go into the green or the yellow until we actually start to move. All right. All right, until we put our throttle there. So as you can see, this is going to be a representation of our throttle. So I'm just tapping the 2 key, reducing our throttle. And as you can see, it's showing me me reducing my throttle there with uh, the bar graphs going down. There's one bar of thrust. And then when I go to idle, as you can see, it's going to go red. So that shows me an idle. Now I'm going to start pressing 2 and I'm going to go in reverse. Oh, I know why it's doing this. Okay. Alright, that's fine. I just need to move where my... Uh, I just need to change something. Okay, it's showing forwards because, um, you know, it's it, that's what's sending to the PID. So I need to go what it's sending off the numerical switch box. Kind of a pain. I have to change some stuff, but it's not terrible. Um, okay, so if we look here, we're reading from... Uh, because remember, our number is always coming positive off of our numerical switch box. So we're going to change that. I'm actually going to... Go straight from our numerical switch box, or from, I'm sorry, from our up-down counter. And this uh, is going to go, this is port. So this will go here to, and I actually want a numerical switch box, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, that's going to be our switched value. This one here is going to go down to here. Okay, so that's going to that's gonna show us accurately what our, um, this is all to fix our reverse. So it's a little bit of a pain, but... Um, you know, this will end up being better in the long run. So we're going to take this, and instead of this being connected there, it's going to be connected to the up-down counter. I know this is probably just super confusing at this point, but um, it happens. Um, well, let's go like this. I, just, I can actually make my lines a little neater now. Um, and then we'll take this numerical switch box here, and I will go to the um, off value there. And to remember, when we uh, we can sync our motors, that's why I'm having to do the switch box, because as I sync our motors, we need to be able to, um, you know, read the same on both sides, because you know it would be reading whatever my other side's reading. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, that's good. That's good there. All right. So I know it's a little convoluted. So now, if we look at uh, with this is from the um, so we need to find our, our switch value here. It comes off channel 18, which is our numerical switch box. So this is going to switch the switch here. And I'm going to update that. I'm going to make sure that 18 is the value for our sync. It should be 18. Okay, so now let's look. This should work now. As you can see, I, I have 2,600 hours in the game, and I still end up making these mistakes. So let's go forwards. All right, so that's reading the thrust we want. Let's idle. It is idle. Okay, now let's start to put it in reverse. As you can see, we get a reverse reading. Okay. Let's idle. All right, now let's desync. Let's go forward on our starboard side, and let's go negative on our port side. And as you can see, we can read differential thrust there. Why is this one not going forwards, though? Huh. That's very interesting. It's weird. All right, found another problem there. Um, I can't do differential thrust. All right, so let's see what's up with that. It's not allowing me to control my starboard side correctly. So let's find uh, 18. 18 is our um, is our sink. 18 goes to here. 
Right, that is our process variable. Process variable is just our starboard RPS. That's fine. Okay. And I have to kind of walk through this. Um, Okay, I bet it's because I'm not gearing that. All right, I'll go through this a little bit later. Um, this is just going to be pretty boring. So um, it's just going to be boring me trying to fix this problem, which you know it's not a big problem. I just can't control my my engines independently. I'll uh, I'll do that on my own. Um, you know, I know what's wrong with it. It's just going to take some time. So let's um, let's see what else we wanted to do here. Um, let's just let's end this video here. Uh, so we did. So we fixed our um, gauges here. We supercharged the engine. Let's call it there. I'll fix that problem on my own, and then I'll come back and I'll show you, you know, the results at some point. And then we can try to go and um, figure out uh, what we want to do for missions. All right. Thank you for watching.